we've got another story about AI drone racing. So we previously talked about AI drone racing, and uh, we looked at basically a system that could go through gates uh, as fast or faster than uh, human pilots that they had in the study. And they were pretty fast pilots, so they were able to map out ahead of time. But in those studies, it was taking about two to three hours to do the calculations to get around mm -hmm. those gates and yeah. uh, do it in a pretty good amount of time. Yeah. So they were like, well, we that can't be the solution. So they slapped a Jetson Nano on these drones, and they are doing what is the it? work on the drone. What is a Jetson Nano? It's like an NVIDIA, basically like in a little NVIDIA SOC oh, system. I see. Uh, yeah. Or Jetson TX2, sorry, down in Nano. But uh, yeah, it's basically like a little board they can use for all the work uh, that they're doing. I see. And basically, um, now it can do it live. So they can move the gates around, and it can, it can, uh, it can navigate through the gates, even if now, they're moving them. I see those little reflective balls on there, which makes me think that yes. a computer is off the drone, flying the drone so they're using with, with like outside, external cameras well they're yeah so they're using outside sensors currently um they're trying to get everything onto the drone that's like the next step that will happen mm -hmm. um, but currently they're using outside sensors to tell the drone uh positional data about the drone but all the work is happening on the drone uh, for the algorithms mm -hmm. and like crunching of everything so okay it adapts to changes on the fly flies optimal trajectories through dynamic environments like moving waypoints that's that's kind of badass. I wonder to what degree real pilots could benefit from this calculation to learn optimal flight lines. I mean, it's hard to imagine somebody having a more optimal flight line than like Min Chan Kim, but I don't know. That's yeah. pretty. That's pretty badass. Guy needs a helmet. He's he's got a hard hat. On. That's a little scary. I'll be like, I'll be like, he's not going to hit me though, right? <laughs> yeah yeah that's Pretty cool stuff so they're making really solid progress this is the same team that has been working through all these kind of different quad tests that we've shown uh quite a few quite a bit over the year or two that we've been doing this and uh yeah it's very very cool stuff so that's really cool just seeing it i could just sit here and watch this computer fly this drone uh do you think people will have like stuff like this as a kind of like how you have little like you know toys or whatever on your table you have a drone that kind of just like flies around a track and stuff yeah i mean i mean if you think about it uh, you could imagine they've got like those little you know those little cars that they sell for kids in science classes where you draw a line on a white piece of paper and the yeah. car follows the line and they've got yeah. like races and stuff and people design those it's like a like a pinewood derby kids will build little robotics experiments to do that this is just an extension of that in a way we're, we're a long way and I don't know what the cost would be from having gates you could set up in your house and the computer flies through the gates. But I mean, that's an extension of this. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. I mean, imagine, uh, imagine extending this and the drones flying through a forest and you could say, look, we're going to have a, uh, we're going to have a flying drone that patrols our office park. So those FPV pilots, you know, they don't come show up and vandalize it and you set waypoints and you literally just move a physical gate or something that the drone flies near or through, and it finds them, it self-navigates through the environment, and yeah, that's uh, that's a really interesting sort of combination. Yeah. Uh, did you see that? Uh, chat wants us to point out, um, one thing it can do that a human can't really do or can't do easily is the end of this, where uh, basically they turn the wind up uh, while it's flying to 68 kilometers an hour. And uh, yeah, it's hard to tell. Oh, it's because hitting, right it's well, right hitting a wind, no wind gust. There's no oh, wind. On, right? And now it's about to kick up the wind. You'll see by the smoke. Oh, yeah. And it's just like DGAF. So it was hitting the gates. Wow. Evan Turner, do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he could. I'm sure he could. That's Pretty really cool. cool. That's really cool. I mean, we need yeah. to get like an Evan Turner or an Alex Vanover or Min Chan Kim or any of those other fast guys. I feel bad because whenever I try to think of a fast racer, those three names come out just because I know those guys. Well, I don't know Min Chan, but I've, I've, I've met him. And uh, I feel like I'm disrespecting other. I need to, you know. Guy FPV, get to know Chief somebody. FPV. Hold there on. Go. Keep, going, keep going. Uh, keep going. Hold on. I'm going to miss a lot of names. He uh, never talks about me. Yeah. This Bardwell. Um, is Bartwell thinking about me right now? 
No disrespect intended.